Out of all the anime I have for Project Favorites, White Album 2 is the one I feel like I gotta defend my liking of the most. This is because, even as a person who has it on their favorites, I can't deny it's flawed, if not heavily flawed, and that said flaws can be game-breaking for some. So the question has to be asked, if it's that flawed, how the fuck is it on my favorites? Well, for stars, I was engaged into the story and characters. As I've grown as an anime fan, getting invested in romance stories like Whelm 2 has gotten harder to happen. So I was pleasantly surprised that I got engrossed and cared about the characters and story. What was also nice was that it was pretty early on too, which even in romance anime I like, it takes a while for it to grow on me. It does help that for me I like the main three characters for the most part, or more particularly Setsuna and Kazusa. They are very interesting characters that I grew to like and care about, even if I don't always agree with the choices they made throughout the story. My personal favorite character is Setsuna, and while I don't think she always made the best decisions in the world, I did understand where she was coming from, and I did care about what happened to her in her past and her present. Not to say that Kazusa is bad, she is far from it. I understood her character a lot, and did understand her a lot more once the second half kicked in, seeing why she was cold and distant, as well as seeing the things that made her become like that. It made her feel human like Setsuna, which I give credit to the creators for doing. For the first half, I also did like Haruki, even if he could be the generic nice guy you see in a lot of anime. Like I mentioned earlier, I do for the most part like the story and was engaged with it. Part of that was definitely the characters being them. The other half was waiting to see how the story would play out and see how it would get to the conclusion I had heard so much about. And given the not so nice things I heard about the ending, I did find myself surprised that I was loving the journey beforehand and still do. The journey was nice to watch and it had lots of heartwarming moments and enough of those moments to make me want to continue and see more despite knowing where it would lead to. Before we get into what I mean about its conclusion, I want to give mention to a few other little things as well, like how nice Wyoming 2 looks. I was surprised how it looks so pretty and how it was used to convey how the characters felt and such. That, and I loved the winter feel and atmosphere the anime had. As a fan of winter, I enjoyed seeing that in Wyoming 2 myself. Also to mention it, I love the music. It'd be pretty bad if I didn't like the music though, since it is a heavy focus in my own too, but I just can't get enough of the music and still find myself coming back to some of the tracks on occasion, which to me signifies my liking and memorability of the music present. My favorite pieces are the OP and Wild Album, both of which remind me why I like it so much. With Project Favorites, one thing I try to avoid talking about are the negative aspects of an anime I love, as I feel it would take away from what made the anime in question a favorite. But in the case of Wild Album 2, I feel I should at least mention what the problem is, as it plays a huge part into my experience with the anime. I was spoiled to the ending of the anime long ago, as at the time, I didn't care about the anime whatsoever, and didn't mind it being spoiled, as I had originally had no plans in seeing it. I had heard about how awful the ending was, so because of that, I went into the anime expecting to hate Whelm 2 in its entirety. While yes, I heavily dislike the ending to Whelm 2 and can't justify at all what happened, I also can't deny I love the first half and parts of the second half like finding out more about Kazuza. I can take the bad from Whelm 2 because I care about it. I cared about its story, themes, and characters much more than I disliked its ending. It's this care that ultimately puts it in my favorites. Is Whelm 2 flawed? Oh fuck yeah it is. But I still care a lot about it despite those flaws and look back at it fondly as a favorite of mine.